Okay, watch your head position on your streamline. We had talked about today, it's just as bad if you have your head too low as it, if, as it is if your head's too high. You're still going to drag water. Okay. We also talked about your breakout. If you break out too early, you will drag water to the surface. As you can see with your arm stroke right here. You're not to the top of the surface of the water yet. You have to kick to the surface before you start your stroke. Like I said in your other video, you have a nice, strong, steady kick. I'm going to slow it down here, back it up. We also mentioned your head position. As you can see, your feet are a little low in the water. Your kick is going to be more productive if your body is balanced in the water. We also talked about body rotation. See right here? Head's high. Okay, legs are going to drop down. If you rotate a little bit more, you're going to catch more water at the beginning of your stroke. As I mentioned in your above water video, as I saw your feet were straight together, you need to have them shoulder width apart to have that good push. Nice job waiting to rotate until your feet leave the wall. Again, wait till you hit the surface. You don't want to break out too early. Nice job. Okay, we're going to look at Nathan's freestyle. Do a good job coming off the wall there, tight streamline. I wouldn't do as many dolphin kicks as you did. I like the fact that you're 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 getting a really good upper body uh, motion. You're riding the water pretty well. But the thing that you need to work on is probably pressing the T. And what I mean by pressing the T is from shoulder to shoulder and then right down the middle of your chest. You need to press a little bit more and, and adjust your head position. I think your head position might be a little too high. You can also see as you as you're going in, you're you're not getting the full extension out of your stroke. That hand should be closer in towards the head and it should go straight in. So, so exit at point A, enter at point B, and that should be a more higher elbow. And what's happening is, is you're kind of swaying with that hip. And there, there you can see the sway motion going with the hip. So what I would do is I would focus a little bit more on the head position in relation to how the body rotates from side to side. Um, but it's more of a rotation on the axis and not and not throwing the hips. As you can see there, you're doing a pretty good job. I think you can get with your height a lot more distance per stroke. Is it is if as you enter right there, I would rotate just a little bit more, and you're going to get much more distance per stroke. You can kind of see there how the hand is trailing around towards the side. You want a high elbow, point A to point B, like we talked about. I really like your freestyle though and I think it's going to come along well and I think if you make those uh, few uh, improvements uh, you're going to see a great improvement. Great job. Keep up the good work.